Ladies, gentlemen, civilized beings, and officers of the Klingon Defense Force, welcome, welcome to Star Trek Online. Season 10 has landed. It is 20 minutes old as of the time of recording, and needless to say, this is going to involve quite a bit of spoilers today because the Iconian War has kicked off. Yes, indeed, those of you who saw the last featured episode, Uneasy Allies, will be familiar with it. We are now moving on to Blood of Ancients. There is now an Iconian sphere parked right next to Iconia. It is most inconvenient. Captain Kagran and Admiral Quinn have requested our presence. We shall oblige. We and know that attacks from the Iconian forces are imminent. Their gateway technology means that distance has little meaning for them. Once the war begins in earnest, we will be racing to cover too much territory with too few ships. But we cannot fail. To fight a war, we first need a plan. Admiral Quinn has requested your presence at a briefing on Earth space dock. Indeed. Specifically, this is going to be how we plan to commit suicide. Now, what have we got? Ooh, crit D times 2, crit H, accuracy. I'm guessing those are random rewards, but... Oh, that, that is shiny. 30,000 tech point upgrade. Yes, please. Although I may well hang on to it for the radiant anti-proton cans. Let's just test something, however, before we get started. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Right. Okay. Hold up for a second. So, we have got anti-proton beam ray, Mark 12, at crit D times 2, dual heavy cannons, double ac, and crit H. Going to decline that. And then we're going to retake we know it. That attacks from the Iconian forces are imminent. Their gateway technology means that <laughs> distance has little meaning for them. Once the war begins in earnest, we will be racing to cover too much territory with too few ships. But we cannot fail. To fight a war, we first need a plan. Admiral Quinn has requested your presence at a briefing on Earth space dock. Okay, so it looks like we either got very, very lucky and rolled the exact same weapons, or those are in fact fixed. No matter, let's have a look, quick look at the other shinies, shall we? So, Resonant Transphasic Torpedoes. Looks like pretty stock transphasic, except for a proc chance, 33%, that's stock for a torpedo proc. 538 damage, 100% shield penetration, minus 10 resistance for all types, and that requires Resonance Amplifiers, that's the 2 set bonus along with crit chance and crit severity. Maybe it might be worth a shot later on. Then we also have resonant disruptors for some reason. Well, I suppose if the Klingons are supplying. Ugh. Anyway, stock disruptor damage, stock power drains, 2.5% chance for a similar 2km AoE burst and a similar damage resistance debuff. Um, maybe. I mean, I don't see unique. Those might be worth considering for a disruptor build, particularly if you're going to be running a supporting style tank. Getting that kind of damage resistance onto a target would definitely help the escorts. And of course, last but not least, we have the harmonic resonance relay. 20% disruptor damage, yes please. 20% transphasic damage, yeah, I'll take it. 4% armor penetration, uh, um, maybe, maybe I'm... I'm not entirely sold over a crit-seeking Spire console, but let's get on with it. Enough theories. To battle, or at least to a meeting. Right then. Blood of the Ancients. We are heading to Earth Space Dock. Let us go talk to Admiral Quinn. And congrats to everyone who's picking up their new Zindi insectoid ships. You rich, mutter curse, black. Anyhow, Jarell, what have you got for me? Um, apparently nothing. Oh, right. Is this going to be one of those? All oh, right. There's our temple agent. I thought he's got anything for Greetings. us. Greetings. How can I assist you today? Uh -huh. Yes, yes. Go away. You can't. Right. Okay, let's beam up to the sector. I have a suspicion we're going to have to come at this through the shiny new Beta Quadrant Gateway. Of course, one of the ironies is that the Federation is technically mostly in the Beta Quadrant on this map. Oh, I've never seen a grey screen like that before on the loading. Might have just been a little frame rate hiccup, but who cares? Right, so the briefing. Yeah, we have to jump up to sector space. 
I suppose they have to do that to keep the Klingons happy. I still don't think they're allowing the Klingons into Earth orbit normally. Um, took its time powering up the warp drive. Has anyone let a Scotsman into my engine room? Right, so here we are. Earth orbit. Um, where did we leave the planet? Okay, so forwards. Uh, all right, there's there's the star system. Just miss it, and there we go. Begin blood of ancients. Little bit of a gimmick there, but as I said, they had to let the Klingons into play. Mostly, I mean, we did get to visit Kronos a couple of episodes back, so all's fair in love and war. Mostly war for that last part. Welcome, and thank you for coming. We've gathered here the finest commanders from Starfleet, the Klingon Defense Force, and the Romulan Republic. We may have been enemies in the past. Now, we must fight as one. Or we'll may I introduce Captain Cogren? He will coordinate our combined forces against the Iconian. And Why the is the Starbase shaking? This is the slightly worrying. War is now inevitable. While the Iconians themselves are few in number, their heralds are numerous and formidable. They are not like the servitors we have fought before. They are far more dangerous. We are already sending strike teams into the sphere the heralds use to access the Iconian gateway network. They will retaliate. And when they do, they will attack our most valuable targets. The gateways allow the heralds to strike anywhere. They can avoid or destroy any obstacle in their path. Therefore, the Alliance has decided to focus on defending key installations. We need time to create a strategy. To that end, let me introduce Captain Tom Paris. Captain Hello, Proton! Okay, we've learned a few things that could be a weakness in the herald strategy. If we can exploit this, we can... Uh, that's a lot of red lights. What were you it's saying, Tom? Beginning. I'd say the goal appears to be New Romulus. The Federation has a star base nearby. Captain Paris, take your task force and the bulk of the fleet to New Romulus. The rest of you, report to Star Base 234. Right now, that star base is all that stands between the Heralds and New Romulus. Hold the Heralds there as long as you can. We need time to evacuate civilians and prepare defenses at New Romulus. And do something about the inertial dampeners on the starbase. Uh, can I get back to you on that one? No, no, apparently not. Right. Welcome to Starbase 234. Course is laid. We are inbound. And, okay, looks like we're going to be leaving the reinforcements for I've never dust. Seen anything like these Herald ships before. Well, you may not have to again. Arm up. Let's go kill some heralds. There's too many of them. Begin evacuation procedures. Bloody computer virus probes. Oi, no you don't. Engineering team, just clear those out. Half throttle. Kill zip probes. Or just let the Starbase's torpedo launchers do it for me. Right, kill that gateway quickly. Then lock onto this Boltim and go for him first. Engineering away. Torpedoes for high yield. Surgical strikes engaged. And hull and shield reinforcements into play. Boom! First Iconian kill. It has begun. Alright, first Herald kill. Those automated probes don't count. Run in onto the line. Oh, blast it. They love their ionic tepial lens. I've forgotten where I left the throttle pedal. Boomski, number two goes. Right, break high. Go for area damage this time. Loop back. And we should, in a solid position, just shotgun everybody. Come on, down you go. Right, Surgical Strikes comes back in a couple of seconds, along with Tac Team. We'll have AP Omega in a second, there we go. And scan out. Now kindly drop dead. Thank you. One more cruiser. 
but first of all, pull its support out from underneath it by closing that gateway. Like so. The cruiser then falls over much more easily. Much, much more easily, in fact. That's nice. Ooh, purple bank. Very pretty. Right, what have we got? Cast cruiser. You're lucky. You get to live. Initiate area spread. Attack team can back it up. Well, that was the whole point. These guys run Blitzkrieg tactics. Okay, what's going on here? Defeat Herald reinforcements. Reinforce the main shields. Orcs to hull. And Omega out. And at this point, we cut in on the Photonic fleet. You want to play with photons? So can I. Phaser Lance away. Crack at shields. And then drop. And kindly die. Thank you. Pull away. Lock onto that bolt him. Let us follow through on the path. Emergency to weapons. Again, is it hard? Make the pass. Don't quite finish it, but it doesn't matter. It drops in anyway. And we'll nail that probe in passing. Gateway goes down. Lock onto this last radar, and we should be just about there. No, you don't. You don't say. Hard left. What have we got to deal with this time? Oh, a Vonth battleship. Okay. Right, kill that EMP probe. Kill the solar gateways fast. We encountered these in the Herald Sphere on the Triple Time. Well, it did not end well, as the man so correctly said. And then bolster the shields. Then go evasive. Break away. We'll take the cast cruiser first once we loop around. You already used that line, mate. Okay, we'll stop full reverse. Well, I have a suspicion you're not going to pull that little trick off. Okay, right. They took their time coming up with that trick. The thought occurs is all they really have to do. Keep breathing? Yeah, it sounds like that. Radiant gateway closed. Loop round again. And surgical strikes out. Forward guns are engaged. High yield engaged. It's only high yield one, but who cares? And the battleship appears to have had a small systems crash. Victim of their own vice perhaps? Who cares? Never mind. Going down. And yoink. There we go. Scout the perimeter before the next wave. Well, if... Yeah, well, let's scout the perimeter, do as the man says. Although it really matters, since all they have to do at that point is open the gateway right underneath the Starbase's warp core. Hell, inside the Starbase's warp core. Oh dear. Oh dear. This is very bad. Hard over, I there think... There are too many of them. We can't... All of the civilians and most of the crew managed to evacuate. At least that's something. There's nothing more we can do for that starbase. Fall back to New Romulus. We need reinforcements to hold the system. Like hell. Hard over. Let's go kill some more. <laughs> okay, so I may have just had a little small problem that Starfleet does not approve of Barratry. <laughs> Cryptic thought of that, clearly. Right. No matter. And, um, oh, right. We appear to be somewhat Welcome boned to the here. War. The Romulans are asking for boots on the ground, but we've got more than we can handle up here. There are some weak spots in the Herald lines. If you can punch through to transporter range, you should be able to get a team down there to assist. Tom, that your new ship? Oh, wow. I was wondering what they were going to give us for piloting specs. It looks like a overweight... I know, it also looks like an overweight Defiant, but then so does mine. Right, let's get going. To the Herald Scouts. We'll start with these Bolton Raiders. Nice 
Okay, surgical strikes engaged. That's one. Lock on to the next. Okay, hard up, cut to half throttle. Run over, kill that gateway, and before you know it, the scout is going to loop back on us, because that's how they do this. Doesn't really matter. Surgical, Omega, Tactical. Oh, is that your ramming attack, mate? It failed. And your mate is dead. Hard over, shoot this guy off Paris's tail. That's one you owe me. Great wonder what that console scouts. is. Now, take out the ship's head in your way. Ah, right, so much for punching through and just legging past. Right. As before, talk spread, surgical strikes. Yes, 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 yes. This isn't one of your hollow novels, this is real. Kill that EMP probe before it shuts us down completely. Like so. And then we'll take your buffing out from underneath you. Got you. Right now then, loop back, into range, and brace. Attack team, surgical, you know the drill by now, boys and girls. Three quarters throttle, sadly, and also port shields forward. Come on, drop dead. Come on, come on, just a little couple more shots, just a couple more shots, there we go. Right, who's next? I was planning to give them anti-protons, but I suppose hell also works. Oh dear, we appear to have lost some Romulans. That's officially a shame. You're close. You That's nice. I don't suppose you're planning to give me a hand over here? Nope, thought not show off. Just because you've got the shiny new ship. Intelligence drones away, emergency power to weapons. Oh, so structural, just a patch of the hull back up. Engineering can patch the rest of it up. And then once we get through a shield facing, or even better yet, get this intel scan into play. There we go. Good night. Right, to the... No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. You are not blasting me with the fury of a... Well, one sun. A thousand suns is a bit of an exaggeration, really. Okay, welcome to orbit of New Romulus. The last time we were here, it was well, the Alarchu were invading. The now we're here. Come desperate on the surface. Good luck down there, and watch your back. The heralds aren't pulling their punches. I appreciate it, Captain. As I said, last time we were here, the Alarchu were invading. This time, the Iconians are invading. It's a wonder whenever I pull into orbit, everyone doesn't evacuate the planet. Right, I am ready to beam down. Let's go face these guys on the ground. And welcome to what's left of New Romulus. Okay. But first and foremost, we're going to change into something more appropriate. Change outfit. Ground. Right then, let's see how these heralds like some good, honest bullet. It will help if I don't miss. Come on. Down you go. That's one. Two. Okay, how are we doing? Not too badly. Although this is starting to strain the computer a... No, you don't. A little bit. Losing frames. Mm. Okay, campsite is securing. Slowly but surely. Ah, there we are. Another thrall. Right. We have successfully rendezvoused. Let's move up. Thank you. Now that the area is secure, we can call in reinforcements. Subcommander Zylan is ready to lead a squad to assist you. Should I call them now? Yep, call them in. Hello, Zylan. Um, where's your squad? Your squad? I, uh, apparently it's a one Riemann squad. Okay, I can deal with that. <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah. Grenade. Well, be somewhere else. That guy looks like trouble, doesn't he? 
And we'll just start closing these gateways quickly. There we are, that's one less. Have a grenade, have some radiation, and we'll start getting triage options out as well. Come on, scan up, there we go. Okay, right, frame rate really isn't coping, so give me a second, I'm just going to turn things down a little. Something I don't normally have to do, it has to be said. Excuse me, uh, graphics, um, we'll just drop both the render quality and the graphics detail down a couple of notches, see if that helps. Apply, okay. And that got us, um, yeah, that got us a few frames, didn't it? Right, let's we keep moving. This area. Well, you get right on it. We'll start doing the heavy lifting. Yank, grenade. Frag the constructs and just keep moving. There we are, that's one less. No, you don't, don't stand in the red cone. We'll put concentrated fire onto the defiler. We will also realise that there's a rock between us and him. Hi there! It's flanking time. Down you go. Thump. Right, next. Another construct. They go down like sacks of potatoes. Drop the thrall. More heralds are on their way. We Done. Can take a defensive position in the ruins. Yeah, that mm, that could be a horrible idea. Although it looks like someone else has already had said idea. So, defensive positions, eh? Secure the ruins. He's dead. Okay, so Tholian froze to death at room temperature. Oh well, I suppose that solves the whole wildlife problem. Okay, fine. Into the def... Wrong button. Into the defilers. Come on. Yeah, try and throw the scan of him. Right, so I would kindly don't stand in front of the uber beam of death. Honestly, if I told them once, I've told them a thousand times. Have a grenade. Pop. And pop. Okay, it's down. We'll move up on this construct. Wait, no you don't. You really think you can assume direct control and get it behind me? Well, actually you were probably right, but no matter. Down he goes. Look back round, frag this construct before it fuses. Forces inbound to this position. We must hold here. Oh, that's um nice. Right. We'll start with you then. Have some radiation. And we'll very quickly drop that through because if memories Okay. Pop. Pop. Okay, not sure what that was. It didn't look good. Grenade time for construct. And heal like mad time for me. Come on. Okay, constructs is nasty if you let them get round you. Of course, the same goes for us. And. Ah, uh, there I can, of course. They love teleports, don't they? Right, let's loot up. Also, Zindi Terrestrial Lockbox. Well, you never know. Flaked Blood Fleas and another lockbox. Well, I suppose they love their... Oh boy, here comes more problem. As before, drop the thrall quickly. We'll get some radiation out into them. Also some crowd control. And then we will duck briefly. Knock onto the next thrall, focus fire. No, you don't. Nice try, but no, you don't. And since you're exposed, I will quickly heal up. And then we'll go for a sniper shot. Pop! Pop. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Mako bullets. So badass, they disintegrate Iconians. Don't stand in the beam of death. Always a good idea. And then just keep shooting the defiler. 
Try and call the scan will give us the expose. Lock on. Who's going to fire first? Him. Is the answer to that one? Doesn't matter. He died. The ruins are secure. Next, we must clear the path ahead. Nice. Okay, so we're heading west from here into the dig site. Ooh, more photos. Meet the hoarder, ladies and gentlemen. It eats anything. Oh. Expose. Yoink. 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 He's down. We'll just get a shot in. And then we'll close in on this next wall. Porter goes nom. Iconian apparently goes arg. I'm sorry, is something behind me? No. Good Horta, good boy. At least I, I think it's a boy. There you are, see? He likes me, he really does. Now to get back into containment before you eat your way through the whole planet. And the deck plating. And no, that lots of other things. Shotgun time, radiation, and crowd control out. Target that one on the side, otherwise things are going to get really awkward. And then break onto the flanks as always. This is SEO. Flanking actually matters. Oh, no you don't. Sniper shot. Come on, Boomski. There we go. Interesting that they don't vaporise when you hit them that hard. Presumably that's so you don't have contracts being reassembled out of nothing by thralls. Okay. So far, so good. Right, what have we got? More heralds. Why am I not surprised? Right, advance up. And we'll start by shooting one of them. Yoink! Okay. Lots of heralds, in fact. Oh, boy. No, you don't. Come on. Down you go. Pop, pop, pop. Shotgun. Try to scan out. Shoot it a few more times, and it should be obliging enough to just die. Like so. On to the next construct. Let's keep moving. And they fall over. And as we plough our way through a lot of heralds, hopefully they are reassessing the wisdom of their strategy. And we'll doubtless decide to improve it by throwing even more bodies at us. Behold the paths. There will be reinforcements there. That's nice. There will also be heralds there, and the reinforcements are, let's face it, probably dead. Okay, moving on up, moving on out. Nothing can stop us. You had your chance, guys. Come on, drop dead. I said drop dead. Come on, down you go. Yoink. Zappy. Get that guy on the flank. And he goes down nice and quick. Talos needs a quick pick-me-up, which he probably gets. And then we can pop a grenade into those two. Move on to this construct. Ah, of course, the uh, Gateway Pass station, because you just know we're going to end up jumping through that gate. Mind you, that gate was buried, wasn't it? I suppose I've had enough time to dig it back out. Right, call the reinforcements. Who would have thought this transporter pad would have been so useful? Um, reinforcements? I think we can take it from here. Do you want me to call? Yes. Why are you even asking me that? At least I had the sense to beam in plenty of reinforcements. Oh look, we've got more thralls. Fine. Into them. Okay. Yoink. We'll start with you, I think. Ooh. Expose. Headshot, 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 headshot. Boom! Headshot. Yoink. Next headshot. There we go. 
And last but not least, uh, in, well, I suppose I am not greedy. I will leave my crew in the Romulans a few. Reinforcements are on their way. Gateway opening to the east. Okay. And yoink. Don't stand there at all, ever. Slam out some radiation, and you know what? Then we'll just make the time and space go bye byes. Um, luckily, it kicked in right before bad things happened. Okay, again, focus fire. Drop that defiler. There it goes. Make her represent by getting out the way. Drop off again, and we will drop in. Uh, sutures and go. Can use that cover shield. Focus fire on the defilet. Luckily, he is focusing on me. To the north. Yeah, they're making a habit of this, aren't they? Come on, down you go. Shotgun time. And now I get the expose on him. Get right net. Oh, that's a lot of Iconians. Sorry, heralds. Yoink! Down you go. You begin to understand why someone decided the best solution to the Iconians was to bomb the planet back to the bedrock. Okay, we do, however, appear to be winning. I sincerely hope the Klingon strategy is kill all of them, because frankly... It has to be said that that's probably the only reliable way to kill these guys. Come on, Constructs. Yoink. Yoink. Radiation. You guys really need some lead linings on those hulls. Watch out. Opening to the east. Well, they're predictable, aren't they? Right, you know the drill, guys. Get the defilers. Preferably before they open us all up. Try call the scan for vulnerabilities. Subspace rift just to get him a little bit messed up. And we have lost lead. So I'm going to dive in. Pop out the Omega Nanites. And then realise I dropped them far too far away. No matter. Defiler's going down. There we go. Switch to the rifle and line up the head headshot. There we go. Target onto him. Duck out the way. And he'll mirror who doesn't have that sense. And yeah, I think we've run out of opposition. Now where's Le Oh he's over he's over here? He was valiantly holding the rear, ladies and gentlemen. Shall I call in for our next objective? His hangover will be celebrated. Yep, we're done here. Contact command. The ruins are ours. No, they aren't. Was that a triple? Um. Yeah, running away sounds like a completely viable plan at this point. Even if it is through an opaque black door to the middle of nowhere. I'm assuming it's a spatio-temporal hyperlink. Although it has to be said that, um... Oh, I don't like the sound of that. Did you get your reactors from the... Yes, you got your reactors from the same people who supplied the Azura, didn't you? Iconians happened. Now, if you'll excuse me, we're a little bit busy here. Grenade. Sensors are picking up some unusual power emanations from the surface. Be careful. Qualify unusual. Does it have anything to do with the 15-foot-tall Iconian that just shredded the whole platoon in 10 seconds flat? Because if so, that's... it's not unusual. It's also not unusual to have fun with any Orion that's around, but that's a whole other song. Yeah, they definitely got their reactors from Bolage's cut price warp cores. And we'll prioritize the three, because that's the big problem at the moment. Yoink. Pop. Uh, 
Okay, get the scan out. Let's crouch and then we'll drop a little dampening fluid on you, which you probably walk out of. The AI is getting worryingly smart about those. Right, yoink, yoink. Okay, gateways are gone. Oh, where were you hiding? Doesn't matter, you're dead. And let's make absolutely sure we'll drop a quantum mortar onto your corpse. Many times. Right, let's fix the gear. Oh dear. Oh dear. This, this is not good. Your presence defiles this sacred space. Heralds, to me, destroy these insects. Apparently, direct control must be assumed. Right, what have we got to do? Looks like we're going to take down the Harbinger of Matara first. And I'm so glad because the water is back, as are my quantum duplicates. As are those red circles look bad. Those red circles are indeed very bad. Come on, radiation. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Heal up, quick. Okay, we'll focus on dropping the construct since we appear to have the Herald's attention. Got out the way of that one, luckily. Now then, to the Harbinger. Let's see how you handle, um... Break. Okay, Black Circle is very bad. Looks like it's just a stun of some description, though. Have a grenade. And some radiation. And looks like you fragged some of my... No, you didn't quite get them, so we'll heal them up quickly. And then we'll just pour it on. Come on, back to the 116. Nope, we'll also dump that dampening field onto you. I think it might work a little better, because... Oh, dear. Ow! What the hell was that? Gravimetric combustion, was that? I'm thinking that might have been an absolute instant death. I mean, 250, 450, yeah, if that wasn't instant, that was ve something very close to it. Respawn. And then almost immediately get killed by gravimetric combustion. Heal up. Pour on the damage, boys and girls. Pour on the damage. Keep healing everybody. I will scan more radiation. Oh, and um, my uh, my exploit is off. Um, nope. We're gonna avoid the purple circles and the black circles and all the other circles. Okay, that's interesting. It looks like the staff is the principal thing. Is the is the staff the Iconian, or at least the Herald? Investigate Herald activity. Access main gateway control and generally access everything. Hmm. Fascinating that the staff almost appears to be a projector for the Herald. I wonder if that's a clue. Get rid of Prishal and they were locking on to something. Okay, we're going to end up diving through that gate, aren't we? Wonder where it could take us next. Perhaps a sightseeing jaunt back in Andromeda? Maybe the Great Barrier? Perhaps the Galactic Core? They were looking for him. Oh, oh dear. The Preservers will be about the same time period as the Iconians, so they've got a very different out- This is going to drop us back to the Preserver Archive, isn't it? Okay, let's see. Is the destination plotter confirmed? Yes. On Lanas 3. Then we need to find out why. Okay, to the gateway. Let's- Hopefully not blow up New Romulus again, because last time we fired this thing up, it did not go well. Activate the gateway. I'm a little busy here. What do you need? Okay, we'll give him the quick bad news. We're yeah, you're gonna need to dig us out of Lenas. Acknowledged. Wouldn't want to miss the party. I'll get every ship with an operational warp drive headed that way as soon as New Romulus is secure. You do that. And We'll speak later about you people intercepting my secured comms. However, technically he is my tactical officer at the moment, so... Into the gateway! 
Geronimo! So, Lainas 3, if memory serves... Oh yes, the Heralds are looking for this place. That's something they either want or they don't want us to have. Let's speak to the Archivist. Oh yes, Lainas 3, better known as a callback to the Breenarch. Hi there, I thought you were off talking, touring the galaxy. Right, who are you? My task was to keep the archive safe until the day when our children would be united and would want to know who we were. Yeah, well, we have a more immediate problem. What do you know of the Iconians? I am not programmed for this line of inquiry. Would you like me to wake one of my creators? You can ask her all the questions you wish. Yes, please. Okay, here we are. Yoink. Hello, Preserver. Greetings, my child. Long have I slumbered. Why have you roused me now? Because we've got an Iconian invasion force coming this way, and our asses are on the line. Oh, the Iconians. They are the first of our children, and for a time, the most troublesome. They were different once. Brighter. But our other children grew jealous of their gifts and chafed against their rule. The war changed them more than they could understand. Oh, I wait. I help you, my child. You're to blame for the Iconian super tech? Oh, terrific. Oh, I sense her approach. Our daughter, Matara, comes. She is first among equals, and her rage is terrible to behold. Go. I will retrieve what you seek. If it is not already too late. Um, now would be good. I'm guessing Matara is the Iconian we just saw vaping the Klingon High Council, vaping those Romans. Oh yes, and we just whacked her herald. She's not going to be happy, is she? Um, right guys, it's Iconian homage time. Get on with it. Okay. Alright, I see. So the Iconian for basically uh, picks up and uses it as a suit of armor. That's a nice touch. Not quite assuming direct control, but oi, get off me. Down. Go away. Bad Iconian. Bad Herald. Bad whichever. Excuse me. Boom. Ow. Um, we are sitting ducks if that defiler opens up on us. Prioritize it. Okay, nanites out, water out. I said nanites out, that was supposed to res her. Fine, how long? Another minute. Come on. Heal up, heal up like crazy. All in the duplicates right in time to get vaporized. Yeah. That went about as expected. Okay, lock onto the mirror. Throw her a medical tricorder. She's just about okay. Defiler is gone, that's the main thing. Right, we can Glyasara back on her feet now. Good little Horta. Go munchies. And So just vapor more. Radiation out. Six, five seconds, four, three, two, one, zero. And then we've got to clean up anyway. Fine. Down he goes. And I think we are good. No doubt just in time for things to go horribly wrong again. Yay! Know that your death will bring me no pleasure, ancient one. Then you make a different choice, my daughter. I cannot. Long have we waited for this day. We will reclaim all that was once ours. We will rule this galaxy, as is our right and our duty. None can stand against us. No 
Oops. Okay, I sincerely hope you put a kill switch into the Iconians. And, well, um, would you mind waking another couple of preservers? Dead. Very dead. Well, in fact, he did spend most of it in stasis, so I won't really say he was living. Right, let's save the others. Alone. The rest of the fleet is about two minutes out, but the heralds are here, and they do not look happy. If you're done down there, can you beam back to your ship and give us a hand? All right, we'll go bail you out again, Tom. By the way, we just... They just um, walked in here and walked all over the preservers like they were nothing. I think I should mention that to you. So... What's the problem? They are not kidding around. Raise your shields. We need to hold out until the rest of the fleet arrives. You make it sound so easy. Two minutes. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, of course. The only two ships Four that can heralds. manage that kind of speed. Oh, and I thought the Borg had a lot of ships. Oh, well. That's, has someone been nicking their hyperdrives from Homeworld? Anyhow. Lock everything. Sonic fleet. Scan up. We'll just... Go for the kill. Oh great, ionic turbulence. Well, we can cope with it, but you really do have to do some fairly stupid things, Norm. Not me like sitting still to keep a firing solution. There we go, so that's one battleship gone. Looty looty. Oh, inventory's full. Damn. Well, at least the fleet got that gateway closed in the meantime. So, repair up. Track back. And standard drills with an escort. Forward guns on. Yeah, well, you do the same, and we'll endeavour to keep fragging this raider. There we go, that's another one gone. They've... They've had, what was it? A hundred thousand years plus to do shipbuilding and r and I mean, they were doing this when our ancestors were figuring out that if you bash one rock against another rock and get sparks, then that magical burning stuff that comes from the sky might actually be longer. reproducible. Right, onto this cast cruiser. 30 seconds. 25. 24. Lock everything. Intel drones are away. EMP probe has unfortunately hit us. I need to shut that gateway down fast. Come on, give me weapons back. There we go. Thank you. Loot back again. Hazard emitters out. Emergency weapons and surgical. And the fleet arrives. They're all dead, aren't they? And the cavalry arrives just in the nick of time. Let's show these heralds what we can do. What do you mean, nick of time? There was only one ship left and we were about to shred it. Bunch of kill stealing glory hounds. Come on. Oh, sorry. There is no kill like overkill. Especially when you've got Iconian viral probes messing up the regular weapon systems. Okay, what have we got? 30 seconds to defeat the Herald forces. Go, 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 go. Let's get engaged. Are we, on a, are we actually on a time limit here? Because if so, that's one pisser of an objective. Especially if the fleet doesn't engage properly. Ten seconds. Come on. Scan out. Okay, so that is one. Oh wait, no, they just called in more and more, so that was leading to a cutscene. And what's this? Oh, what do you know? It's their super ship. Um, fine. Alpha Engage that dreadnought before it can power up its weapon. The mothership has exited hyperspace. Okay, that's another battleship gone. Engage dreadnought. Oh wait, we're Alpha Team? Oops. Fine, let's go kill a dreadnought. And they said it couldn't be done. Intel drones out. Photonic fleet out. Shield boys away override subsystems and frag that server gateway before it gets ideas please target fire come on fire thank you 
Right, back onto the dreadboard. Critical, critical, critical. Oh wait, is this thing immune? Vulnerable. No, it isn't. Exposed vulnerability immunity. Oh right, it's getting padded up by the gateways. Scripted loss again? Yes, apparently so. Hmm. I have a feeling that this is about to go... Yeah, planet killing time! We did pull the hard drives out of those preserver computers before we left, didn't we? A loss of a third fleet? No, we didn't. Oh, bugger. Oh well, warp to Romulan Flotilla. We need to go do some explaining. It's just how catastrophically we messed this up. Oh well, worse things have happened. Flotilla's a bit beaten up, isn't it? Today is a dark day for the Alliance. Starbase 234 is lost. The Iconians destroyed the gateway on New Romulus. Our fleet was defeated, and in one day we lost a quarter of our ships. The preservers are gone, and with them goes our hope of understanding the Iconians. Although the Iconians have withdrawn from New Romulus, they can attack anywhere at any time. To be blunt, this may not be a war we can win, but we will make the Iconians pay dearly for their victory. We will continue to fight, to save what we can, to win where we can, and we will fight until the last one of us falls. Irony at this point would be the Iconian Dreadnought warping in right behind us, but that would be a short season. Okay, and contact this command. Is a dark day. You have served admirably. The loss of the archive is regrettable, but the preservers are not the only casualties this day. There will be more death before this war ends, but those of us who survive will be stronger. The Iconians think they can win this war. They think we are weak. They are wrong. We will fight, and if need be, we will die, but we will fight until our last breaths. To which an Iconian would doubtless respond, terms accepted. But that brings us to the conclusion of this mission, and we have our rewards to collect. So, let's see what we got. We must choose our rewards. Oh yes, I need to get the, uh, mm, oh, it doesn't really matter at this point. I mean, anti-proton, that's pretty generic stuff anyway. So, we will leave Delta Flight for the moment. We got spattered. Blood of Ancients. Um, okay, now that title makes sense. Right, so let's just dump some of this loot, because I want to look at a few of the shinies that we got. So we'll discard that. Discard the Seeker Drone, because I'm not an engineer. Discard the Emergency Force Fields, because hey, red shirts are expendable. Uh, discard the Poly Alley poly alloy weave armor likewise and then pull out the overflow bag so we'll take both of those we have got first and foremost the dual heavy anti-proton cannons which go straight in the bin and then we have got the destabilizing resonance manuals beam one two and three allows you to train one new but 135 degree arc 152.7 physical damage and then it pulses to three kilometers raise the target for 10 seconds minus five all damage resistance rate you know what let's just let's just train someone pull up the manual so stations skills i think we'll go for lyasar on this one guessing it's commander there we go destabilizing resonance beam three Yoink. And yep. Rank two is Lieutenant Commander. Rank one is Commander. Sorry, Lieutenant. Right. 
Hopefully we can pick up more of those later on, or I may have just done a very bad thing. So, switch ships just for a second. We'll pull out one of the science ships. In this case, the Pathfinder will do for the moment. Right, so, stations. Actually, no, what we really need to do is go to somewhere where we can get full power effects in. Right, so, Fleet Starbase system. We'll just warp over there f and see what these look like in s orbital space. Ha! Nice touch with the Orion propaganda poster if you miss it. There was a very good callback to one of the old World War II posters. However, stations, 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 stations. It was Lyas Sara we gave the job to. And let's see. So if we load destabilizing one, destabilizing two, and destabilizing three, let's see what we've got. Close that as well. So, destabilizing three with full auxiliary power behind it. We are talking a hundred, well, almost full, 102. What have we got? 618 damage per second for 10 seconds. So, 6,200 damage in a three kilometer radius. Yeah, that's a decently heavy attack. The kicker is, of course, that it's in a... A, it ignores shields, and B, that it goes up for up to five enemies. Minus 5% energy weapon damage per pulse, minus 5 damage resistance, and at 10 stacks, if you manage to get that high, it takes their weapons offline. Okay, that's going to be interesting, because, of course, one of the bonuses on the Iconian set warp core is a, is a hot restart of weapons after one second. So that is rank 3. Let's scale down to rank 2 and just reduces the damage rank one half the damage pretty much of rank three uh, well two-thirds would be a better estimate there interestingly the secondary effects on the same it looks like it's purely a damage thing that matters we'll bring up the detailed version aoe damage and debuff Okay, so subspace decompiler for the disable side and particle gens for the exotic damage. Right, I am going to stop there, ladies and gentlemen. I've been going for pretty much an hour. Hopefully by the time I actually get around to putting this up, you will have a chance to play it and I won't have to worry too much about spoiler warnings. But that has been Blood of the Ancients. Join me next time for Delta Flight. And until then, take the fight to them. Even if it is completely suicidal. Farewell.